you manage X-reference documents. So once you have actually attached an X-reference that I just described earlier um, in the lesson, you can then manage the X-references that are referenced um, in your project. Uh, and the way you do that is by going to your file menu, going down to external, external content, and then going down to the XREF manager. Uh, if any of you have come from AutoCAD and using that, one of the things you will know is that um, actually this X reference manager, as well as the, um, uh, the, the, the way you attach an X reference, is very similar to AutoCAD. Uh, in fact, the, the, even the, 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 way, the way that they term this, this, this information, the way this process is the same. So you'll notice here, over here we have attach, detach, reload, unload, and buy, which I'll go through in a minute, but these are, terms are exactly the same as you use in AutoCAD. Also, you'll note at the top here, we have two options, two buttons, list tree and tree view. And what those two do is once you've attached a reference, if you go to list view, it's gonna give you the reference name, its status, its action, size, type, date, instance, and translator. I'll talk about that also in a second. But if you click the tree view, it'll show you any uh, references that are nested references. And this is very common. Uh, particularly in, in more complex uh, DWG file setups, that you'll have nested references. So if you need to see the nested references, that's how you do it. As I mentioned, um, they, when you open your reference manager, you're going to have uh, a variety of options to kind of um, uh, view the information and see what, what information is. Um, so the reference name, obviously, is the first option here. Um, the second is the status. Is it loaded? Is it detached? Is it reloaded? Or is it unloaded? Or is it found? Um, and then any action that's, that's uh, uh, appropriate. Um, the size uh, of the referenced file. Um, the type. Uh, is it attached uh, as an external referencing or overlay? Uh, the date that it was last modified. Any instances? And then the translator that was used to reference this. <clears throat> now, as I mentioned, there are also five different options for the way that you can uh, work with the X-reference document once you've referenced it to your project. Um, first is to attach the X-reference. So yeah, that's the first step. Obviously, you can't really work with it if it's not attached. Um, so you click that button to attach it. Once it's attached, then these others come into play. Uh, detach uh, would basically, when you click that button, it's going to detach the X-reference from the, your current model. Uh, closing the dialog box will remove it from the project file. If you want to use it again, you're going to have to attach it again, okay? So it's not, you know, there's no, no history of it. Um, the status column will reflect this as a detached state. Uh, when it's detached, the dialog lets you choose between retaining or removing the detached X reference attributes, including layers, line types, and fields. This is really important. Um, if you, in, in most cases, I would say, if you're detaching that X reference, unless you've already got references, um, other references that are part of the project, you probably want to remove the attributes. Um, otherwise, you, again, it's going to pollute information in the project. Um, just that's just not going to be relevant to what you're doing. So I would say most of the time you'll detach the attributes unless there's a reason for you keeping them. Reload is a way of, 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 of when, so when a DWG or DXF is modified, um, it's a way of, of having that updated with the latest changes. Uh, so it appears uh, in the Arcade project file. So if you open it and you want to reload an external reference, so it updates. So we op up, open it, click the reload button, and then it's going to simply reload your X reference so it's updated with the latest state. This is particularly helpful um, when you're working on a project and you've got um, uh, maybe you, you, you just um, replace, a good example would be you just replace the structural file that's referenced um, in your system and your project's open. So it's not going to reload unless you close the project and reopen it. And you don't want to have to close the project and reopen it. So you can simply open your, your uh, X reference manager, click the reload button, and then it will update that reference. Um, unload is a way to keep the selected external reference attached to the project file, but it unloads it from memory. So uh, the file's content will not appear on the floor plan. 
um, as opposed to detach it, it completely removes it from the file. Okay, so there's two ways of doing it. You can unload it so it still stays in, um, uh, in memory uh, so that you can still access that if you need to, um, but it's not going to appear in the floor plan. And then finally is bind. Um, bind is what um, AutoCAD users do a lot when they want to uh, take several X references. They want to bind it to one file. It's like embedding is what the kind of the uh, terminology we use in ARCHICAD is embedding uh, uh, external references in ARCHICAD. It's the same concept. Um, so you click the bind button and then any external references are now um, uh, embedded, if you will, inside of ARCHICAD. And then the layer name, names will also change to reflect that. Um, you'll see if, uh, all of a sudden layer names uh, are no longer broken down into a separate X reference uh, category. Instead, they'll have an X reference as a starting um, um, pre, uh, prefix to that. And then it'll be followed by uh, the name and number and layer name after that. 